Well, hello everyone. Today I'm sharing 10 very hyped up, very popular products that I think actually just suck. I'm not a fan of these things. I don't think they're worth it. I don't think you should buy them, but it's all just my opinion. And I'm sure so many of you are going to graciously disagree with everything that I say, and that's totally fine. I think it's very important that I make these videos every once in a while because I'm constantly testing out products, trying new things. I'm sharing things that I absolutely love with you. And I think it's important that you see the other aspect, <laughs> the negative aspect, like things that I just think are terrible. So I think you might be very surprised at some of these products, but again, I find it interesting. Oh, and uh, keep your eyes peeled for Angry Mama. She might be making an appearance some, somewhere throughout this video. And if you maybe missed the Angry Mama giveaway announcement, this is really fun. It's kind of like, where's Waldo? Kind of weird. I just had this random idea, but it really is called Angry Mama. It's a microwave cleaner gadget thing, but I'm going to be hiding it in this video, future videos, very inconspicuously. You probably miss it, but if you don't miss it, you can email me at whereisangrymama at gmail.com and tell me what video and where you found her and you will automatically be entered into winning cash prizes. There'll be a lot of random winners. It'll just be like an ongoing thing. So make sure you're subscribed to me here on YouTube and then also follow me on Instagram because I'm also going to be hiding her in stories and you can also enter to win like that as well. Number one is probably one of the most hyped up products of all time. This is so iconic. People swear by this. It's a Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This has been around for decades. It's it's very iconic. And to this day, people will comment on my videos whenever I mention like some random mascara, people will comment, you need to try the Great Lash Maybelline Mascara. And when I would see those, I, I would be like, you're right. I do need to try it. I remember liking it in high school, um, but I haven't used it since then. And so I would see those comments and finally I I bought it and wow, <laughs> it sucks. It is so, so, so bad. I don't know why they still sell it. They need to fix the brush. I think that's what it is. I don't necessarily think it's the formulation. This brush is stuck in, I guess, the 70s or 80s. Um, it basically just puts all of your lashes in like four distinct sections. It's terrible. Uh, I'm so sorry I'm knocking this really bad. I just think there's so many other better affordable mascara options. Well, ironically, the Maybelline, it's like the same brand, uh, the Sky High Mascara. Oh my gosh, it's like $2 more. This is a trillion times better, so much better. Also, I wanted to mention, and, and people mentioned this to me recently, the the like best-selling viral, uh, very affordable mascara on Amazon. I used to have this, I will fly a picture of it. It's so inexpensive on Amazon, amazing reviews, and I really like it too. I just ran out of it and I haven't repurchased, but I probably should. I'm just, like I said, I'm always testing out new things. So definitely recommend these two way above this. Okay, let's talk hair dye next because I thought I initially loved this. And then I discovered within two or three days, I hate it. And the only reason I purchased it was because of the rave reviews, but then also I love the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up Spray. So I use this pretty often because I have some annoying gray hairs. I've had them since high school. And so every few months I do have to dye my hair. But in between that time frame, I will use this just to kind of conceal the annoying gray hairs. It works great. And so I purchased the L'Oreal Root Touch Up Kit. And I loved it initially because it doesn't come with as much product. Like I only ever touch up my roots and it it, it just has this like squeezy brush thing. It, it's just, it seemed great. It was easy peasy. I loved it initially. And then uh, after two or three days, I went to, you know, just take a shower or wash my hair. Um, and wow, it turned my hair so ashy gray. You can even kind of still see it. It has this, this weird tone to it. It also just kind of washed out of my hair. You can see the grays again, it was just a complete failure. So if you are somebody that does like to dye your hair or even touch up your roots at home, I know a lot of people prefer to go to the salon, which is acceptable, obviously. Um, people cringe at box hair dye, but I swear this stuff is really good. So I typically always use this. It's the Garnier Nutrice. I love it. It doesn't damage my hair. I feel like it nourish it's nourishing, I mean, as much as it can be. And I have the shade Sweet Pecan, which is a deep dark brown. And I just concentrate it on my roots. I also love, and I've mentioned this before, the DP Hue Root Touch-Up Kit. It is pricier, it's more of like a salon quality kit, um, but it also works really, really well. So again, just something to try if you're if you're like me who wants to do things at home rather than go to the salon every time, uh, but stay far away from the L'Oreal stuff. 
Next we're talking about almond milk. It's like all the rage right now, like drinking milk alternatives, which is cool. Like I commend you guys for wanting to be healthy. Uh, it's just the mainstream almond milk brands and alternative milk brands, they're so bad. And it's so annoying to me that they're kind of like getting away with being healthy when there's so many additives and preservatives. Like even in this one, it's like potassium citrate, sunflower lectin, glain gum, natural flavors, which is basically MSG. The list goes on uh, when all you really need is almonds and water. I understand that, you know, it just has a much shorter shelf life, but that is where like the health aspect is actually going to come into play. And unfortunately, the healthier brands out there that really only have the almonds and water, like all you really need, the shelf life isn't as long and they're pricier, so I totally get it. But when it comes to being healthier, it just comes with a price tag, it's totally backwards. Um, but I would just say, you know, if you're trying to be healthy, Pay attention to the back. The next very hyped up product that so many people love, and I just really didn't, it's the Tan Lux Face Self Tanning Drops. And I only ordered it because like so many people rave about this and I really, really like the idea behind it. I, I thought it would work. Uh, so what you do, you just get your favorite moisturizer. This would be ideally at night. You get your favorite moisturizer, put a few drops of this into the moisturizer, rub it all together, put it on your face, go to bed, and you're supposed to wake up with a nice tanned glowing face. I do think it's supposed to be kind of gradual. And I did notice that like initially I was like, I think I kind of see it. I'm not really sure. So the next night I did it again. And then it just started to get weird. I thought the tone was terrible. It was kind of yellowy. I thought it looked splotchy. I tried it multiple times and I really hated it. Like every time. So this just does not work for me, even though everybody swears by it. I, I personally think there's a better way to apply self tanner to your face. And it just has to do with using uh, a, a foundation brush or a body brush. And speaking of a body brush, I actually just ordered like yesterday, this body brush from Amazon. I don't know if I like it yet, but I'm really excited about it. And I'm going to use it purely for self tanner. So get your favorite self tanner right now. I'm well, I don't even use self tanner that much, but when I do, I tend to reach for the loving tan brand. Um, but just apply it, you know, all over like normal. And I like to go in with a, a big brush, like a foundation brush or body brush and blend in your elbows, your hands, just like the weird places on your body. And then whatever is left over on the brush, you can then take it and blend it onto your face. And you can even contour your face around your jaw, around your cheekbones. And it just applies like a nice airbrush finish with the self tanner. You can even chisel things out. It just looks beautiful. It's such a better way to apply a self tanner to your face. Speaking of foundation brushes, that actually inspired my next product that I really don't think is worth it. It's the Artiste round or like oval makeup brushes that are so popular and also very expensive. I used to have a whole set. I'll fly a picture on the screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the brush hair quality, totally agree. Very, very, very nice but it's really just the ergonomics behind it. Like the way you hold it, the way it actually works. I hated it. So I ended up giving it to a friend. Um, I just think it's weird. Like it's kind of almost like a toothbrush. Like you just have, I don't know. I just feel like I can't blend well. I can't get the look that I'm going for. I just don't think they're worth it. So again, I've said this like 30,000 times, uh, the Tarte Bamboo Kabuki brush. It's just the best foundation brush of life. This next one is, I, I honestly think is a little bit more serious. It has to do with deodorant. And some people are, like I keep saying, are gonna completely disagree with me, but this is getting more and more popular. And some like big names are just swearing by. I even put it in a video about how I loved it. I'll just cut to the chase. It's the Thai Crystal Deodorant. There's different brands. Um, the one on the screen is the most popular. And then I'll also fly another popular one. Um, but so many people love this. And I put it in a video saying, oh my gosh, this works so well. It's a natural mineral salt deodorant. I was blown away at how well it worked. And then luckily I started researching it before I posted that video. And I ended up filming like an add on to say like, hold up, <laughs> don't necessarily go buy it. I'm not sure it's so safe. And since that video, I'm so glad I kind of like put in a disclaimer because I would have felt so bad to like have you guys buy it. And I, I genuinely think it is very, very unhealthy. Um, so basically they market it as being a natural deodorant and a, like a lot of people even say to me, like just because it's natural doesn't mean it's healthy. And this is a perfect example of that because it is a mineral salt, but it's potassium 
alum, which basically means it's aluminum. You're literally putting aluminum directly under your armpits that goes right to your gland, like all of the areas where you don't want aluminum. And I know there's so many people like saying and thinking right now that aluminum does not lead to breast cancer and all of that, but there are just so many darn studies proving that aluminum, like you shouldn't cook with aluminum, cookware, like the built up of aluminum in our brains can lead to Alzheimer's. Like there's just so many negative effects of aluminum and the mineral salts that they're saying is natural uh, is really just aluminum. And it's actually a higher level than prescription grade deodorant that has aluminum in it. So just be very wary of that. Um, you guys obviously make your own call. I just, don't, 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 I don't think it's good. Super quick, just the deodorants I personally like. I've mentioned this before. I like Native. Um, some people are kind of eh about it, which is fine. So if you're not into this, I would also recommend, I, I recently started using, what is it even called? It's Way of Will. You can also get it on Amazon and it's really just, it's kind of coconut oil based and I think it works really well. And then I also love Kapari, which is also coconut oil based. The next set of products that are so incredibly hyped up and they have been for decades, honestly, uh, not worth it in my opinion. There's so many better options out there. It's the Proactive mm. Acne Set. And I'm sure you guys remember the infomercials, just the, the insane amount of commercials. You, you see it in a lot of different stores. There's even vending machines now. Um, I used to struggle with acne so, so bad. I To this day, I still have a lot of scarring, like indented scarring on my face. So if, like, if you see me in person, I always feel self-conscious that, you know, I look way better on camera than I do in person. But um, I tested out proactive. I've tested out so many different acne things. That was just terrible. It literally did nothing. In fact, I feel like it made my face look worse. And I've heard so many people say that same thing, but yet it's still really popular. So I guess I just, I don't personally think it's worth it. And there are two products, which I have, again, I'm so sorry, a lot of these products are repeats, but they just genuinely work so well. But if you are somebody that struggles with acne, or maybe you have a son or a daughter that struggles with acne, these two products truly are life-changing. Um, it's the Dr. Dennis Gross, uh, the Alpha Beta Peels, they're pricey, but wow, do they work. And then this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA exfoliant. And I mean, they're so, so good for acne. Next we have a microwavable popcorn, which is ever so loved by so many, but many people don't know how bad this is for you because of a specific chemical or compound that coats the microwavable bag. So even though this is really hyped up, I think there's a lot of better options out there. Um, and I pulled up uh, a few websites just to make sure I got the info completely correct, but it's called PFCs, which is like a perfluorinated compound that coats the bags and it resists grease. So that's why it's used. But when it's heated up, it actually turns into what's called a PFOA, which is perfluorinoctanoic acid. Um, and it's a chemical that's known to cause cancer. And so that kind of like leaches off of the bag onto the popcorn that then you eat. It goes directly into your bloodstream and it's been shown to remain in your body for a very, very long time. So when we eat popcorn, because my kids absolutely love popcorn, we really try to avoid the microwavable kind. We'll either make it ourselves on the stove, which is very easy to do actually. You can actually just use coconut oil, so healthy, um, or we just buy the actual bags of popcorn because it's the the microwavable kind that you wanna try to stay away from. The next item is just very random, just sharing it because it's a, a hyped up thing that I just don't like to use. It's the refrigerator organizers. I know, everyone loves them. I feel like in a perfect world, I would love them too, and that's why I bought them. And they just don't work for me. I just don't keep up with it. Like they visually look nice if you maintain it. I don't do that. I don't really have any like alternate things. Basically I get groceries and I put them in the refrigerator and that's all I do. So I was going to talk about this next, but I stand corrected. So this is the Purity Face Wash. This is actually the number one facial cleanser in all of America. Did you know that? So it's it's loved by many, including myself for the longest. I mean, I, I used this back in high school and I just, it was, my go-to until a few years ago, I was looking at the back of the bottle, not this bottle, but another one. And I was shocked at how terrible so many of the ingredients were. I'm talking like the parabens, phthalates, sulfates, formaldehyde. Yes, like formaldehyde, crazy. So I felt tricked, I felt duped because this is purity. Purity made simple. It sounds so innocent. It sounds like it should be the purest form of facial cleanser out there. So I stopped using it. And then my mom gave me this, um, 
and and I have since used it here and there. I mean, a lot of it is kind of gone. I do just really like it, but I still felt bothered by it until I this video came along and I'm like, I'm gonna put this in the video. It's not worth it. And then I read the back and now I see that all of the terrible ingredients are no longer there because in 2020, I just realized this, in 2020, they revamped the formula to remove all of those terrible ingredients. So it's now very clean and I feel so much better about it. And I've been using this here and there and I never noticed a difference. So I definitely recommend this. It is awesome. And then I also wanted to say, just as far as like cleaning your face, these are still the best in my opinion. It's the it's the makeup eraser. Um, you can actually get these on Amazon now. So if you haven't tried these, I'm telling you, humor me and try them. They remove all of your makeup with only water only water, it is shocking, and I use it every single day, multiple times, like morning and night, and then once they get a little bit dirty, you just rewash them, they're good as new, brand new, love them. So there you have it, those are those are my, my negative thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Put it in the comment section down below if there's any products that everyone loves, but you don't like. I find this very interesting. Um, and then also, if you found Angry Mama somewhere, don't forget to email me. But thank you guys so much for watching, consider subscribing if you're new, and I will see you very soon in my next video, bye.